Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So it's been a long, long time since I've done a check-in. I mean, a really long time. We're talking months here. Um, it's been quite a while since my sexy mug has graced the face of this channel. And you can see I have a little bit of new stuff going on. I'm still not sure about this whole beard thing. Um, been growing it out for, I don't know, maybe a month or so. The problem I run into is that I have a bit of the Irish in me. And so it's red which doesn't really show as much in the light that's here. But like if I step out in the sunshine, it is red, brilliant red. And um, that is essentially blonde as far as facial hair goes. So it has to be twice as thick and three times as long to show up like brown facial hair does. And that is extremely aggravating. So anyway, that is all a ridiculous aside, but this video is not going to be subcom. It's going to be stuff that's going on in the channel, stuff that's going on in my life, a little bit of halter skelter rambling on a variety of different topics. So tab this video out to the background unless you just like sitting here watching me talk and I will just discuss things that are going on in my life for the next few minutes. Um, first of all, specifically with the YouTube channel, I'm sure you guys have noticed in the last few months, there have been several things that have come up. I've tried to dip a toe into a couple of different areas. There's the collaboration with Orbital Potato, which I'm actually thoroughly enjoying. He is a really cool guy, straight up. Um, we actually chatted for several hours the other day when we were doing um, the, a after the live cast, or not live cast, after the cast that we did. Um, and so that is a really fun one that I'm going to stick with. I think we're planning on doing once a week from here till we get sick of doing it. So, um, that's something that y'all can look forward to. And I know a little while back, I tried to do a little bit of like a news flash thing. I, it wasn't me. Um, anybody who listened to those videos, I am so terribly sorry for your pain in trying to endure those things, but it is what it is. I did enough of them to know that it's not for me. And that's that. Um, and then I've got the game reviews that I've been doing. I've, I just did my third one, um, conflicts, revolutionary space battles. And it's interesting, there's a couple of parallels that I can draw with it. I enjoy playing new games. However, I've been immersed in Supcom for so long that it kind of tints the water, so to speak. Um, and I've just been forcing myself to play new and varied games for the last couple of weeks, and it's helped a lot. Um, I, I'm starting to move into different things, enjoy different things. I'm still playing uh, playing Supcom as my fallback, and, um, you know, doing all the casts and all watching all the replays and doing all that kind of stuff. But instead of s just spending hours at a time on subcom, I'm dumping 60 minutes here and there into these other games just to, you know, break up the monotony, which subcom isn't really monotonous, but you know what I mean? Um, so it, it's been interesting doing the reviews because it's like finding a whole new voice um and just to kind of draw a parallel actually you could draw a parallel to subcom games or to any kind of strategy game um you find something that works and you work on your overall strategy until you have something that you can win at a bit and then you spend a long time making tiny tweaks and tiny improvements to all the different stuff and gradually you get better and better and better and better and better at it. And I think anybody who has been watching for an extended period of time, or if you just started watching the channel and you go back and listen to the first videos that I did when I first started doing this, um, the difference is overwhelming. Like I go back and try to watch those videos and it's cringe worthy because I'll have wrong speech patterns, terrible inflections, bad mannerisms, you know, it, things are illegible. Well, you can't understand them. Um, not actually writing on the camera, so whatever. It, anyway, it, it's just interesting how over the course of time, repeatedly doing this, um, just immersing myself in it, how much has changed. And a lot of that is due to the guys who are giving feedback on the channel. People have been watching forever. They let me know what's going on. They let me know when I screw up, let me know how to improve. And that really helps me because it gives me kind of an objective source of feedback. It's not just myself self-evaluating all the time. Um, but anyway, it just gradually improves. So 
through the course of the last year, which I can actually look back on the channel now and say, I've been up for a year, uh, 13, 14 months at this point, something like that. Um, and I can, without a shadow of a doubt, say that I am a mediocre streamer. I don't do well at anything that's not strategy games. And I don't do well at things that don't interest me. Like, I'm not able to project my personality over something that I don't enjoy. And so it's kind of a learning experience, kind of, you know, discovering a little bit about yourself, a little bit about what you can do and what you can do well. So directly pertaining to the reviews that I did, um, I think I'm going to keep pursuing this at least while I have the monetary means or people are feeding me codes, which is an interesting thing because um, I just cracked 2,700 subscribers, which is ridiculous. I never would have thought that I would have that many when I first started doing this. Um, but a anyway, it it's, it's incredibly gratifying and I'm very thankful for it, but that's kind of the threshold. It's over the average YouTube channel. It's still a tiny channel, but it's over the average. But for how many subscribers I have, the amount of views that the channel gets is ginormo gargantuan. I mean, huge. It's practically 75% turnover of subscriber count to actual views, which if you show that to people, um, it, it's, it means that you have a dedicated viewer base. And that reflects back on you guys, because anybody who is subscribed to this channel watches most of the videos that come out and you follow in a dedicated manner. And it's just awesome it's incredible it's it is an a truly exceptional youtube com community because that just doesn't happen i mean you have you can look at pewdiepie who has 34 35 million subscribers and that only translates into maybe six to eight million views in the first week so you know he's only transferring what is that 20 percent, something like that um so if we're translating 75%, you can see how much of a difference that is. But anyway, that is enough where if I approach people about games that have just been released, I've had several developers and publishing companies give me keys to games. Now, the ones that have been put up for review, two out of the three, I actually bought myself, but I've got another one in the pipeline that it, it was, again, I approached, um, or I sent an email to a... The, the media group of a publishing company is like, hey, I'm interested in this game that was just released a week ago. Can I have a key? And link them the channel, tell them, you know, what my audience is and their attention rates. And they're like, oh, yeah, but absolutely. You know, all you do is strategy games. This is our target audience. So here you go. And it, it's, it's, it's something that I never expected. I was flabbergasted the first time that happened. It, it was just the weirdest thing. Um, but anyway, it, it is something that I would like to pursue, but it's like finding my voice all over again. And this is just some personal thoughts about the three. Um, if you noticed, each one of the three is a slightly different flavor. Um, the content varies just a little bit. My voice varies just a little bit. And by voice, I don't mean actual tone. I mean the content of what I say. Um, and the editing manner varies just a tad. And so, like, the night side video that I did first was just absolutely, totally bland and boring. But it was probably the most similar to what I would do with the subcom experience. The problem is when I try to do a play-along for the purpose of reviewing the game, and I haven't played it as much as I've played Supreme Commander, I'm not on autopilot. So the more I talk, the less I think about the game, and it ends up crashing my performance in-game, which reflects very badly on what the game is actually doing so for the next video i used pre-recorded footage um and it worked out a bit better but the game was terrible <laughs> that toy soldiers war chest that is hands down one of the worst games i've ever played both in principle of what the game should be and the execution of the actual published game it was just awful um so that one I wasn't happy with, but I did learn a couple things from it. So I tweaked a couple things and went on to, um, I forgot the name, whatever it was, the chicken game. I'll think of it in just a minute. Conflicts, Revolutionary Space Battles, that's what it was. Um, that game I really enjoyed. Like I, I genuinely had a ton of fun in that game, um, but the way that I edited it, and because 
I already had made up my mind that I liked the game. When the first half of the review video came out, it basically sounds like a promotional video for the company. And part of that was a slip up in the editing where I accidentally put in the developer badge when I meant to cut that out. And that's my fault. That was a slip up because I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, it basically sounds like a promotional video for the company because I went entirely informational and I had a happy tone. And I don't want it to be that way. I actually had somebody comment, it's like, was this a sponsored video? Because it sounds like a sponsored video, but it's not. Like, I paid the, I paid for the game, and I was genuinely reviewing it. Um, and I anyway, the second half of the video, I feel like, is an accurate representation of what I felt about the game. But it's not till the second half of the video. So it doesn't really work. Anyway, the next time I do one, I'm hoping to get a little bit closer to target from things that I learned from the first three and it's the growing experience in that is kind of weird because you have a bunch of people watching you and while I do greatly appreciate the feedback and the feedback is critical sometimes I'm kind of scared that people are gonna watch the first couple when I try something new and they're just gonna go oh the Lord this is terrible and just run screaming for the hills tearing their hair out and not log in until there's another subcom scat cast scheduled <laughs> So it's just kind of finding finding your place, finding your voice, and sometimes it takes time. It, it really does. You just have to learn by experience, um, just like anything else in life. So hopefully the next one will be better. I'm not going to say what game it is because I haven't fully completed it yet, but anyway, whatever the dealio is. So anyway, it's, it's just something that I'm pursuing, and along with that, then this is the last thing pertaining to the channel before I just kind of dive off into randomness, um, I am going on a scheduled release, like, right now, I'm actually watching the little loading bar on Adobe Premiere, waiting for the tonight's cast to finish encoding, so that I can press the handy dandy upload button and go to bed, because I'm so tired, anyway, it, it's been a long week, <laughs> um, the, uh, I completely lost my train of thought. This is the problem with rambling without actually having notes in front of you because sometimes you kind of wander out into the ether and your brain is running in a hundred different directions and you can't really track it down. I actually had that problem in the night's cast. You're going to hear there's several places where my brain got ahead of my mouth. And when that happens, you're like, yada, 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 yada. And then you're a sentence ahead in your head and your mouth hasn't followed. So you just end up, let me pause and start over. Anyway, back to scheduling. Um, this cast is going to be the last one where I upload overnight and it's just posted at like one or two in the morning. Um, I'm actually Saturday over recording before the live cast. I'm actually going to set up the two casts for the following week on Saturday so that they're scheduled to release. They'll come out fully processed, 1080p, 60 frames per second of beautiful subcom glory, and you will not have to wait for processing and everything should be handled. So those two casts are set, and then I'm gonna use my extra time during the week. Um, we're scheduling the cast with Orbital Potato, so that's gonna be one day. Um, basically, I'm sticking with three days a week doing subcom, actually four days a week, if I'm doing the collab with Orbital Potato, because that's streaming a game, essentially, but it's recorded. So four days a week subcom, and then the other two days, because I want to try to do something six days a week. I'm going to figure something out. I want one of them to be a review, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to maintain going through a game a week. Um, and I'm going to try to expand that side, and then I want to try to find something else to do. I don't know what it is yet. Possibly an extra game review, possibly an extra gameplay video, or collabs. I would love to collab with some other people as far as casting RTS games. It, it's something that interests me, my hobby, so to speak, and I like doing it. So. I'm going to try to get some more of that kind of content together. But uh, anyway, it's all going on scheduled release. So hopefully there will be very, very few hiccups from here on out. Concerning the YouTube channel as a whole, I have become more dedicated to this than I ever thought that I would be. 14 months in, the last four months, I think, I have maintained the upload schedule. Or maybe it's been three months. Maintain the upload schedule. Um minimum of two casts a week and then about a, two months ago I started the live cast on Saturday so three casts a week like clockwork and I think I've missed twice in the last three months a scheduled cast and it's very very good to stay on that schedule it's it's nice to have everything set up where I can get things done in a good pace 
I know exactly what's going on when. It's all good. And um, it, anyway, that that is its own reward. But uh, I, I just hope that goes to show that I when I say that it's going on a scheduled release and I'm trying to add new content, I am dedicated to the Supreme Commander content. <laughs> That's primary. <laughs> so anything else is secondary and... You know, I, I'm going to maintain where I've set the bar as far as release of content, quality of content, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that's everything about my YouTube channel. As far as life in general goes, life is pretty good. Work has been ridiculously busy. As a lot of you guys know, I work in construction. And if you follow the Twitter account, um, I actually posted. We did a event for Habitat for Humanity with a local college football team. Um, and I, I posted a bunch of pictures from that. But anyway, um, it, it's it been kind of ridiculous the last couple of weeks. And I have just been worn out, basically. And some of that is self-inflicted because sometimes I just don't let myself go to sleep. Sometimes I don't sleep. Sometimes it just depends. So anyway, I need to get back on a good sleep schedule. Because when I'm on a good sleep schedule, I feel so much better. If anybody out there is having problems with just feeling worn down all the time and not being able to keep up and you're just feeling slow mentally get on a sleep schedule because it genuinely helps in every possible way i could not recommend it higher and i kick myself for getting off of it every time that i do but anyway um if i get that straightened out that would be nice and i'm hoping to feel a little bit more energetic next week because i feel like the um well, especially last week, there was one cast where I really feel like I let everybody down because I came home and I wanted to stay on my schedule and I casted when I probably shouldn't have. Sounded half asleep, yawning through the cast, losing track of everything, couldn't keep up with what was going on. Not a good place to be. Um, but anyway, so it is what it is and that is hopefully in the past somewhere. But anyway, as far as rest of life goes, married life is good. I'm sure some of you probably saw. I have a ring now. Um, been married for well since may 16th three months a little over three months something like that um and that's really awesome bell is incredibly busy and gone a lot of the time during the week which is why i still have we've kind of synced our schedules up to where i'm casting and doing things when she's off and about which works out really well um oh, sorry if i blew anyone's eardrums with that mic bump um yeah life is moving smoothly even though both of us are very busy and wrapped up in a bunch of different things i know a couple of you saw um something that popped up uh bell's bookshelf she actually started a youtube channel and that is something that i have mixed feelings about and i really need to stop playing with my ring on my finger because my mic is right there and is bumping it all right um uh she reads a ton and has incredibly well thought out, well spoken and coherent thoughts on books and you know discussion topics and that kind of thing. And I think there is a lot of good content that can be made there. But again, that's kind of an area where I have to grow, get used to things, feel things out, progress at a steady pace, you know, make mistakes and learn from the mistakes. Because the first video is up on that channel. If you're interested in it, um, I'm not going to link it here, but if you go to the main channel page, it's in the recommended channels on the side. Um, the first video is up there, which is a review of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And I so massively screwed up the live editing on that. Like, the audio is okay. I picked up a, another microphone for her to use. And um, I think that side of it came together pretty well. But both of us are new at it. Um, she is new at voicing the content and getting things down in a video worthy manner which is something that i also struggled a lot with when i first started casting because there's a there's a certain way that you have to say things in a certain way that you have to word things um when it's essentially it's public speaking with a microphone so it it is harder than people think it is to do this kind of thing and then on the video side of it um I've I've never edited live video before and I was trying to come up with an intro, trying to come up with some kind of transition sequence, trying to come up with all this other kind of stuff. 
And I worked at it, I don't know, maybe 10 hours total over the course of three weeks, just like beat my head against the wall, drop it for a little while and, you know, let your subconscious mull it over as you don't do anything with it and then come back to it. In the end, I ended up just putting it up um, without intro, that kind of thing, just basic stuff and forgot to adjust the lighting on it. uh, But anyway, there's going to be some more of those coming out. And if you're interested in books and reading and some kind of discussion topics like that, there is going to be some content going up on that. And I'm not really going to heavily advertise it or anything because the first, inevitably, the most hardcore fans and viewers and friends that I have on here are going to be the ones that go investigate this. And they're going to be the ones most likely to not get turned off by... um. L- I hate to say lesser quality content, but content that hasn't been polished yet. So those people are going to migrate over there and give tons and tons of feedback on the first few videos. And then, you know, once we've done five, six, seven videos, she's already recorded the first three, so we can't go back and change those. So the first three that get posted are in one batch, and we're just going to take thoughts in general on them. But after we get, you know, maybe a dozen videos posted up there and Belle has gotten a found her voice on the video side of things. Her writing voice is very well developed, not her, not this. YouTube is totally different than any other medium that I've worked with or that I think she's worked with. Um, but once we get everything down and get the content more polished, we'll probably start advertising that a little bit more and maybe interacting more with it. Um, but for now, it's just kind of over there. If you care to take a look and feel free to express your thoughts however you feel fit and <laughs> just bear in mind we're working on it but anyway so there there's new stuff happening there's the same old same old happening and honestly life is good life is very very good um sometimes it's kind of hard to adult sometimes life doesn't exactly go like you think it will but Overall, I'm good, and I hope all of you guys are as well. I know this has been a long, rambly video that ended up being pretty much entirely about me because it was a YouTube update and a life update, but um, it, it's interesting to see. I'm going to take about 45 more seconds here and just ramble this thought out. It's interesting to see over the course of the last year how the community at, that takes part in this channel and how some of the guys individually here have developed and changed like there's names that i see pop up all over the place and i'm not going to call any names because i don't want to leave anybody out but there's a group of a dozen to 20 people that is like they're regular commenters they interact a lot they send in stuff a lot they message me um and it's interesting to see how every people care they take the time to watch the stuff and they genuinely want to interact with you and it makes me feel like I've just got like this big, huge community of friends. And it it's an interesting dynamic and one that I had never experienced before before I started YouTube. And it I don't know, it it is incredibly fun to interact with. That's one thing. I I, I think I would enjoy Twitter if more people were subscribed and interact or not subscribed, if more people were following it. Because there's a few people from the channel already who have started interacting with the Twitter and some of the conversations that happen are really hilarious and they're fun to take part in. Um, So I'm looking forward to kind of expanding on that side and yeah, just everything that comes down the line. I really, really do appreciate and love you guys and I like interacting with you and it's really just kind of one of the highlights of my week. You know, just getting getting the videos out, watching how you guys react to them, marveling at how quickly everything expands, and just being thankful for everything that's going on. And, you know, like I said, I, I say it many times a day, and I will say it again because it is true. Life is good. I have no serious complaints, and I hope that most of you guys can say the same. All right, that is by far too much time spent rambling. Holy cow, 24 minutes in. I'm going to call it quits before we hit the 25-minute mark. You made it all the way through this video. Kudos to you for being one of the more hardcore people that interacts with this channel. And I always appreciate you guys watching as always. And I guess I will see y'all in the cast, which should be uploaded very, very shortly. And I hope I'll see some of y'all at least on the live cast on Saturday.
Adios.